Hello everyone. Uh, this is my first video about the new uh, ES8. Uh, this is Chinese electric car brand. Um, today I'm going to show you uh, how this car can use in less 10 minutes to uh, swap the uh, empty battery to the fully charged battery. And Tesla also announced some similar technology uh, in a couple years ago, but uh, uh, Tesla didn't implement it to real life. Uh, I believe that's because the Tesla um, using different size and uh, and uh, shape the battery uh, in different model of the cars, so they cannot using a standard uh, battery size for overall. And uh, in this case, uh, Neo using uh, two type of battery. Uh, one is a uh, seventy kilowatt hour, another one is eighty four kilowatt hour. However, the shape of the battery is uh, similar. Uh, the difference is the chemical uh, inside of the battery is different to make the uh, two different size of battery and uh, overall the battery also can be upgraded in the future after the car is purchased um, and the battery swap station also provided the car owner uh, without worry about the battery degradation because people can easily swap battery and uh, the new car company can recycle some bad condition of battery and uh, in this case um, and uh, the new uh, service guy uh, parking the my car inside of the battery swap station and uh, they they will put the cover on my seat and the steering wheel before they doing this uh, drive the car uh, to maintain the car clean and right now uh, the video shows uh, how it uh, how to change the battery swap how, how the battery is swap um, it take a while to start the machine and uh, and the car will be jacked up um, and before I go to the battery swap station and I will use the new mobile app to check the battery uh, Swap station location, and also check the uh, number of the battery inside of the station, and also the, the charging static of the station. And right now you can see the car in, in, in the uh, jacked up, and uh, and uh, you can see a small robot come coming out to uh, remove the empty battery and make a 90 degree rotate rotation and next step the robot will extend contact the battery and uh, using the tool to unscrew the bolt uh, it will take a while because uh, um, the machine is uh, trying to line up and uh, also check, check the uh, air condition using the sensor to make sure as the, everything goes goes right, and the battery swap was cost 180 Chinese yuan, around 25 US dollar, uh, once. Uh, but the later of the that month, and the new announced the, the battery swap was free, uh, is free for first owner of new new uh, electric car. And it'll take a while. And right now you can see the the battery has been removed, and uh, and uh, the small robot was ro uh, was rotated and uh, back to the uh, storage area. So the battery swap station holds uh, five battery inside, and uh, also charges the battery. So other uh, car owners battery, empty battery can be charged inside while the, doing the battery swap and uh, typically the battery, overall the battery swap uh, take 10 minutes uh, that's including the time for prepare and the scan the QR code when the owner arrive to confirm the process and uh, the battery swap itself only take less than 10 minutes 
uh, sometime it could be faster uh, it could be like three minutes um, right now you can see the battery is uh, new, uh, the fully charged battery is coming out and uh, the installation is similar as uh, the removal but uh, there's like extra step to check the uh, the everything is correct uh, the connection uh, the system has to uh, need to reboot uh, the time is including the uh, swap and the battery swap station will uh, give me give the owner confidence to drive the car around the uh, highway and the local con condition even in some uh, some area is not familiar that's because uh, they can get easily get the new battery fully charged battery right away so battery swap station is not only for faster uh, charge and it also can easily for uh, battery recall and uh, battery upgrade and uh, for owner uh, any concern about the batteries they can easily get uh, like a replacement and uh, and you also have a battery loaner uh, policy you can just uh, loan the battery without buying to save the money and uh, uh, you pay like a monthly fee for the company and uh, this is a newer version of battery swap station the mechanic me mechanical is a little bit different than the early version uh, I drive the new ES8 to uh, Shanghai which is uh, uh, big city in China and um, in the highway I was using the public uh, charging station that's because uh, the battery swap station is not fully covered in China uh, I believe right now it's like a 130 um, battery swap station in China and uh, in Shanghai I was using the you know, battery swap station um, that's because uh, it's free and uh, I'm not uh, familiar with uh, the the public ch charging station in Shanghai uh, I'm not sure if it's free or it's uh, it's a uh, uh, free parking or it's a uh, faster charge or not uh, this is another video uh, I record uh, this is uh, another guy drives his car uh, to get a battery replaced at, at that day um, the new announced battery swap is free uh, it's very important for car owner that's because uh, uh, before that uh, the car owner will consider about to go to the battery swap station and uh, uh, drive the car battery as, as low as possible because they pay the money for the for the uh, for the energy but right now you you have you don't need to think about that because it's free and you can go to the battery swap station even have like a 80% left um, you just get to swap a new uh, fully charged battery and they they will claim uh, you will get like a, around the 95% uh, charged battery after you get a swap and I was talking about the new service guy and you in some emergency condition you can get like a uh, not fully charged battery and just for emergency condition uh, you you have something rush uh, have to go but the battery swap station doesn't have like a uh, fully charged battery swap a battery right now and uh, uh, battery swap station uh, is not like main method for me to charge an electric car uh, that's because um, uh, charge at home is more convenient and the uh, cost is not is not very high so I will choose to charge at home however the um, public charging station is uh, pretty cost costly like a uh, uh, four time more expensive than charge at home and um, and also the battery swap station is like a public resource uh, right now it's only limited number of the swap station in the country uh, I believe it's um, 120 battery swap station right now 
and uh, people who uh, travel for long distance may have like a um, needs for battery swap station. And I think the Neo battery swap station is a better idea than Tesla uh, supercharged V3. Uh, supercharged V3 uses super high current to uh, charge the car battery, which may uh, increase the degradation of the car battery. And um, also, um, after the car battery increase, the battery uh, supercharged current has to increase also. But the battery swap station, you don't have to do that. Uh, another thing is different than Tesla. The Tesla only have eight years battery uh, warranty, but the, the Neo has uh, uh, unlimited years, and uh, the car also the unlimited warranty. Uh, so you have wor you don't have to worry about the any um, quality issue of the car. Um, another thing uh, is uh, car battery can be upgraded in the future, like. Uh, uh, the t electric car technology has been a uh, quick change, and uh, the new car is much better than the cup the old car in a, in a couple years ago. So in this case, uh, your car will feel like uh, outdated in just in few years. Uh, it's it's different than traditional gasoline car. It doesn't have like a dramatic change in in few years. Uh, in this case, the battery can be swapped. You can you uh, upgrade your battery uh, from the smaller size to the uh, bigger size in the future. Uh, you don't have to um, get a new car, which you save the owner cost and uh, mm, giving more value to the owner. Thank you for watching the video.